Hi, I'm Ivan. This is Wild Pacific Northwest. I am in the Columbia Gorge this morning at a location called Catherine Creek. It's in southern Washington on the Washington side of the gorge. And it's a beautiful, sunny February day. And I'm here to look at wildflowers. Catherine Creek is a wildflower hotspot. It is a little early in the season since it's late February. So there aren't a whole lot of flowers coming up, but I'm here to see one particular flower and that is the grass widow. And there are definitely grass widows coming up. Little purple flowers kind of spotting the landscape here. Don't know if you can see them just yet, but we're gonna take a good close look at them today. Olsinium douglasii, that's the scientific name of the grass widow. Used to be known, uh, the genus used to be Cicerinchium, but now it's Olsinium. So yeah, let's have a look at them. So you can see the habitat here of the grass widows. You got this kind of broad open meadow area. It's grassy, and these aren't grass, they're called grass widows, but they're not actually a grass, they're in the iris family. But you got this broad open area, it's very sunny, we're on a south facing slope, so early in the season there's actually quite a bit of light and warmth. There's a lot of little rocky outcrops here, the soil is not really deep but water percolates through it from higher up the slope, slowly percolates down on this gentle slope down to the Columbia River over there. And so the ground is moist. There are lots of little mosses and things here. And you can see the grass widows here, but there are also lots of little grass widows that are coming up, these little leaves that are pushing up from the ground from the bulb. So, so soon there'll actually be quite a bit more grass widows in this area. So grass widows are great for getting out and finding something, finding a flower early in the season that gives you that great springtime feeling. Because being in the Pacific Northwest, it's gray, it's cloudy in the winter, so anything that has a little bit of color and makes us feel like spring is coming is, is great. So grass widows are perfect for that. And uh, you find them in these, these habitats that are very dry and sunny and open and uh, those tend to be really hot and dry later in the summer. Plants, they're made of trees, I mean, are ponderosa pines and gary oaks or Oregon white oaks. And you see lots of ponderosa pines around here. And this is again, you know, dry habitat, but it, in the spring now, water is percolating through the shallow soil and it's keeping everything nice and wet, perfect for these wildflowers. So this is a great spot to come and get your early spring fix, but uh, there's a lot of other places too. So I hope you get out and find some grass widows for yourself. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.